12-bit analog to digital converter with internal reference ADS-1013-1415. By Texas Instruments. Welcome to the training module on ADS-1013-14 and 15. Today's training outline consists of features and applications, block diagrams of the device, multiplexer analog input data format, operating modes comparator, and low side current monitor. The ADS-1013, 1014, and 1015 are precision sigma delta analog to digital converters with 12 bits of resolution offered with an adjustable gain in an ultra-small, leadless QFN-10 package or MSOP-10 package. The ADS-1013, 4, and 5 are designed with precision, power, and ease of implementation in mind. The ADS-1013, 4, and 5 feature an onboard reference and oscillator. Data is transferred via a 12C compatible serial interface. An additional feature on the ADS-1014 and 5 is a programmable digital comparator that provides an alert on a dedicated pin. This slide offers information about the applications where all the devices can be used. It can be used in portable instruments, consumer goods, and temperature measurement instruments. The ADS-1013, 4, and 5 are very small low-power 12-bit Delta Sigma analog-to-digital converters. The ADS-1013, 4, and 5 feature an onboard reference and oscillator. Data is transferred via a 12C compatible serial interface and four 12C slave addresses can be selected. This device operates from a single power supply ranging from 2 volts up to 5.5 volts. The ADS-1013-4 and 5 can perform conversions at up to 3300 samples per second. An onboard PGA is available on the ADS-1014 and 5 and offers input ranges from the supply to as low as plus or minus 256 millivolts, allowing both large and small signals to be measured with high resolution. The ADS-1015 also features an input multiplexer that provides two differential or four single-ended inputs. The ADS-1013-4 and 5 communicate with the master, also known as the microcontroller, through an I2C interface. The master provides a clock signal on the SCL pin and data is transferred via the SCA pin. The ADS never drives the SCL pin. The first byte sent by the master should be the ADS address followed by a bit that instructs the ADS1013 to listen for a subsequent byte. The second byte is the register pointer. And for a register map, the third and fourth bytes sent from the master are written to the register indicated in the second byte. The ADS-1015 contains an input multiplexer. Either four single-ended or two differential signals can be measured. Additionally, AINO and AIN1 may be measured differentially to AIN3. The multiplexer is configured by three bits in the configuration register. When single-ended signals are measured, the negative input of the ADC is internally connected to ground by a switch within the multiplexer. The ADS-1013-4 and 5 use a switched capacitor input stage where capacitors are continuously charged and discharged to measure the voltage between AINP and AINN. The capacitors used are small, and to external circuitry the average loading appears resistive. The resistance is set by the capacitor values and the rate at which they are switched. During the sampling phase, 
S1 switches are closed. This event charges CA1 to AINP, CA2 to AINN, and CB to AINN. During the discharge phase, S1 is first opened and then S2 is closed. Both CA1 and CA2 then discharge to approximately 0.7 volts and CB discharges to 0 volts. This charging draws a very small transient current from the source driving to the analog inputs. The ADS1013, 4 and 5 provide 12 bits of data in binary 2's complement format. The positive full scale input produces an output code of 7FF0H, and the negative full scale input produces an output code of 8000H. The output clips at these codes for signals that exceed full scale. The ATS1013, 4, and 5 operate either in continuous conversion mode or a single shot mode. In continuous conversion mode, the ADS1013, 4, and 5 continuously perform conversions. Once a conversion has been completed, the ADS1013, 4, and 5 place the result in conversion register. In single shot mode, the ATS1013, 4, and 5 wait until the OS bit is set to high. The ATS1014 and 5 are each equipped with a customizable comparator that can issue an alert on the alert ready pin. In either window or traditional comparator mode, the comparator can be configured to latch one asserted by the COMP LAT bit in the configuration register. This latched assertion can be cleared by using an SM bus alert response or by reading the conversion register. The COMP POL bit in the configuration register configures the alert ready pin as active high or active low. Connecting multiple ADS1013, 4, and 5s to a single bus is simple. Using the address pin, the ADS1013, 4, and 5 can be set to one of four different I2C addresses. Up to four ADS, it can be connected to a single bus by using different address pin configurations. This slide shows a circuit for a low side shunt type current monitor. The circuit monitors the voltage across a shunt resistor, which is sized as small as possible while given a measurable output voltage. This voltage is amplified by an OPA335 low drift op amp and the result is ready by the ADS1014 or 5. It is suggested that the ADS1014 or 5 be operated at a gain of 16. The gain of the OPA335 can be set lower. For a gain of 16, the op amp should be set up to give a maximum output voltage no greater than 0.256 volts. If the shunt resistor is sized to provide a maximum voltage drop of 50 millivolts at a full scale current, the full scale input to the ADS1014 or 5 is 0.2 volts. <laughs>